project we're building here um, where the client is Barrett's David Wilson Homes um, and they've uh, brought art on board to build the more complex part of this whole, whole um, relief road or bypass. We're building half a kilometre of viaduct with five piers, two abutments. It's a composite deck, so it's made out of precast beams with an in-situ concrete slab. Um, and one of the biggest things we've used, we've used R&D from day one. We've used uh, force work for all the crossheads, um, and we've also used power system systems to, to do our string courses or cantilever sections on the bridge. One of the biggest problems I've had in the past is with the, the inherent problems with the last system was the Barrison tyre would be straight projecting out into the deck and sometimes they're really brittle and they would get knocked and damaged and with the new system they were countersunk into the deck and uh, it seemed to be the way forward. The challenge that we've got are the camber on the bridge and the actual length of the bridge. Uh, logistically, uh, it going over a live railway, which is always a problem, and um, health and safety on, on this project. Because we're going over a live way, we've had to do a lot of night work for possession work so we can build it safely. We asked RMD to come up with uh, a design so we could build the bridge, and we've used RM RMD all the way through this project. When we asked RMD to come down, they had a new parasitism system that they would like us to use, so we offered to go ahead and use it. Obviously, across the railway, we've got the old system. Compared with the new system, they're very similar, the only thing is they fall to, we can use the divvy bar, which is used across the board now. We use uh, the same nuts and plates, so it's not, if you've got nuts and plates for the paraslim systems, you can use them on traditional false work, form work, anything, because it is a standard system where the old paris system was like an old fashioned she bolt. Main saving is, is, is for health and safety, because you've got nothing sticking out the slab, so you've got no risk of anyone impaling themselves. I'm on the bridge at Bogner Relief Road looking at the old Paraslim system. As you can see, the threaded bar is protruding from the deck and the contractor has to use a mushroom cap on the edge of the threaded bar to prevent uh, injuries from impalement. The risk is that the mushroom caps can fall off. The bar also provides, uh, provides a trip hazard to workers and obstructs concrete finishing. Just down here next to me, you can see how the new Paraslim system looks from on top of the deck. The tie bar is no longer protruding from above the deck which eliminates health and safety risks. Here you can see the new Paraslim tie arrangement. One of the benefits of RMD being involved early in the project is that the anchor for the Paraslim was cast into the precast beam during fabrication. This eliminated any post drilling required on site. One of the health and safety features of Paraslim is that it is constructed in modules on the ground, the edge protection is added, and then craned as a module onto the precast beams. Straight away, this provides a wide access to workers and also safe edge protection for the bridge. With the civil side of any, any sort of civil engineering works, most companies always go with RMD because the service you get off them, they're reliable and you get exactly, you get a really good service. Everything we've asked for, they've delivered on time and it's been great, you know? It's been a pleasure working with them.